You want that to happen to you? You want to be an example for others? No, you don't. That's why you want to stay out of my face. To mess with me is to mess with death. Does that work? Is that an intimidating thing at all? <laughs> More than happy to oblige you. Oh, come on. Morning's almost here. No, get away. Get away. Get away. Got him. Wait, what? What the hell? There's, there was two. <laughs> Stop. Look at the examples I said. Stop. <laughs> Oh, it's almost morning! Crap. Welcome back to Martin City Universe. I'm uh, Martin, and I am on my endless quest to play everything I own, which is thousands of games. Today, we are playing Darkwood, which is Silent Hill with crafting over the top perspective, is the best way to describe it. Prologue. Anti-log. It's opposite for prologue. No? Okay. Never mind. I'll stop. I see hatred and fear in their eyes. I see their the face in their eyes. Gross. As if I was responsible for spreading the disease. I have no idea whose perspective this is supposed to be. As if I were the source of all the misery plaguing this land. It's creepy. I have nowhere to hide from them. Nowhere to run. The woods have closed off us from the outside world. Why did I get not get much time to read that one? Oh, that's a cool. Or eyeball. We are all doomed. Don't hear it. You heard it here first. Okay. I guess this is my dude. Push the table. We can get pills. Yep. Take those pills. Why not? And my old notepad that has nothing on it. Oops. Um, oh, I guess I just get the notepad. I don't have to do with anything else. Alright. You can drag things around and I know that's useful because you can use it to block doorways and stuff and make it a homemade device for producing moonshine making it difficult for things to get you in the dark okay barricaded window no I do not want to dismantle my window this is my map your position on the map is not marked when you discover a new location, it will be added to your map. The location you're currently in is indicated in red. In order to not get lost, you need to learn how to determine your position relative to the discovered locations and landmarks. Okay, that's easy enough. Basically, it'll tell you kind of where you're at, but not completely. That door. The generator is almost out of juice. I need to find a full gasoline can. I saw a broken tractor to the east. Maybe I can find some gasoline there. Okay, so I'm supposed to find the broken tractor. My old camera. Okay. What's that? I got, wait, what was this? My old useless medical bag. Good thing I'm taking it with me. What's this? Photo. Oh, well, that's hideous. <laughs> do I have a journal? I can't do that now. Okay, nope, can't look at it now. Cage. That's a cage? Cages. This time they're empty. Cages. This time they're empty. Hmm. This lock is jammed a long time ago. Never mind. I used to keep a useless chunk in there anyway. Get over here. You can only select and interact with objects within your reach. The interaction range is indicated by the color changing cursor. Well, I didn't actually see. I don't see any color changing. Whatever. I've just woken up. Radio Nunitra. Unitra. The radio has been silent for years. Although sometimes I think I can hear voices through the static. Nice. Building a little creepy atmosphere here for us right out the gate. Oh, lots of things that we can take with us. Why not? Who cares? 
just a prologue. Bags. Key to the front door of the house. And a medical book. Oh, hey. Is this supposed to, like, indicate the, uh, whatever the spread of whatever is going on here? Metal door. But that's not in this room right now. Okay. I didn't expect that. What about here? Would rather not open it. I spent too much time to lock him in there. Okay, I guess I'm going to get for gas. Unlocked with key. Key. Oh, I love it. It's very atmospheric. Look at that. I don't know how that car got wedged into the ground like that, but okay. What is that? A wooden doll. Salmon. A large humanoid doll with a carved out face. Gross. Oh, what is poor doggy? My dog. I don't think he's going to make it. I should end his suffering. A space to vault over obstacles. Okay. I'm not using the controller, which you can use the controller for this, and he would automatically vault if you're running, but I'm just walking. The old shift to run. It's much more FPS controls. Alright, where are we going? Oh, an axe. Pick up that axe. Let's come back here. Um. Okay, we want to put the axe on. And you'll be like, why you got the axe on, Martin? Why are you going near that dog, Martin? What are you doing, Martin? Sorry, it's part of the game. My job is to take him out. Sorry, buddy. I think there's something in the game where if you don't, it's really bad for you later in the game. Just got a little wood chop in here. Notice uh, up here, that's my durability of my axe. So unfortunately, it's not going to be worth much. Ooh, that's cool. A dead cow. And we found a bone. Okay, we'll take that. Delicious blow. Make some bone soup. Ooh, come here. Bear trap. Snare traps. Must be careful. The woods are full of them. Oh, well, now I got one. Do I have it in my inventory? So when you pick it up, it just becomes scrap metal. Got it. Okay. Well, now we know what the speed limit was. I assume the speed limit is fine. I think this is European, so... Oh, location found. The woods have, been, have devoured all the roads that connect us to the outside world. No one is able to pass through this thicket. I'm going to try to pass through that thicket. Oh, oh, what's going on here, guys? All on tree. Oh, nope. I'm going to have to change my keybinds here. Okay. Oh, these parts of woods are dark. I should craft a torch. Don't know why I'm using that voice, but I am, so there we are. Just click on what you need to craft in the craft menu, pick up what you need, put it in there. And this is all in the inventory thing, so it's all on menu. So just the tab and there you go. Oh, what? Oops, if I put my torch on, there we go. Abandoned house. What is in here? I want to see what's in the abandoned house, dude. Hey, okay. here. What is that? Tape? The of Cocktail. Oh, snap. This seems a little bit more robust than I remember it, but maybe I'm just imagining it. Alright, let's go. Okay. Oh, goodness. Oh, well, free uh, medicine. This is a discount shelf. It's been out a little bit while. You might want to... Oh, that looks terrible. I don't know what happened to that person. In a few days, it will be completely absorbed. Yeah, I have limited stamina. That's why he's starting to have an asthma. Oh, there we go. I think this one is still breathing. Unconscious man, search him. If there is an exit out of these woods, this key will surely open it. Step. Oh yeah. Oh, back to the cutscene. 
He's unconscious. I've never seen him around here before. Key 21. He's only carrying a key and some journal. Since he managed to sneak in here, he must know how to get out. Of course, he won't help me voluntarily. Oh, that's not good. But that... is of no importance. I think that's important to that guy. Don't put a needle in his eye. It's horrific. I need to get out of this accursed forest. You hear me, rat? Show me how, and I will let you go. What are you doing to surgery to fix him up? I sometimes hear her voice. She's calling me to return home. Where is the exit? Where? Show me where. Oh, dang. Oh, dude. <laughs> Just. Ooh. Phil Collins is getting a little mad at you. <laughs> oh, dang. He hit you so hard. He broke his own chair. I'll kill you like a dog if I have to. Oh, how? Like a little callback. Nice. Good thing I kept my hat on. I assume that's me. I'm going to be that guy. Oh, here we go. That's great animation. That fucker stole my key. Oh, man, I haven't done that voice yet. We'll work on it. An entry to a small cellar. Maybe the pantry? I don't have any lockpicks. Barricade the door. Oh. You can make a um, lockpick, I think, from that stuff. Yep, look at that. Boom. Lockpick. There we go. Hey. You kind of you hold the mouse key and then it expands. If it has a little plus sign, it expands. So you see the three options you have. There we go. Now we got a shovel. Somebody's about to get a shovel upside. That is what they're getting. Heck yeah. Hit me like that. Okay. Dismantle. Barricade is too strong to dismantle. Okay, fine. Oh, what hit didn't do it? Oh, dude, you're gonna bust my shovel? This item is no longer used. I need to repair it. I can't repair it. I don't know how to repair things. I can repair it on a workbench. Okay, well. I don't think that helps me now. Oh, that was him. And now the lights went off. So we can move down to two. Put our flashlight on. Nice, I like that. Open the door. It's in here. Metal table. A metal table with leather belts strapped on it. That looks horrible. That can't be good. Take a little time to search, I guess. Oh, is that for the uh, generator? And we will put you right there. Oh, no, no. The shovel goes in our inventory. We may need it later. Let's come over here. Yep, we do. The tank is empty. All right, power is back on, people. I did it. Restored the power. And we'll send you a bill in the mail. Um, yikes. Corpse has two dials instead of eyes. His mouth is wide open. I can hear a distorted voice, barely distinguishable from the radio static. 4892. 4892, okay. Medical tools. A syringe. Okay, well, I got myself a little syringe. Do I got a journal yet? What is up here? 
three four eight nine two four eight. I'm going the wrong way, I know, but nine two. Firm? Yes. Who's there? Oh, don't worry, it's just me. Can I? Oh, help me! Come closer! Oh hell no! I'll help you with a, a bat if you come too close to me, buddy. Oh, of course! Oh god! Ooh! Got him! I hit you with a board, a table leg or something, wasn't it? Wasn't it a table leg? Let's table this discussion. <laughs> That's so terrible. Okay, I got a chicken for some reason. So that dude was just off his rockers completely. <laughs> oh, well, that's not, that's probably not good. And how do you want Aunt to get out now? And you think you can manage by yourself? Wait. Oh, jeez, that's not good. Someone forgot to pay the bills. Oh, what is that? What? what? Oh, no, get away. I think that's the prologue. <laughs> Am I dead? Is that it for me? Please don't say that. It was actually me dying and there's something I'm supposed to do here. Oh, hello, Alma. Got the ring girl here. Oh, that's not a girl. Okay, that's just a figure. Fair enough, gotcha. Hey, spooky dude, how are you doing? You wanna, like, not kill me? Oh, you're extending a mitten to me. <laughs> Fantastic. I'm uh, glad, glad you got time to knit yourself some mittens, but thanks for helping. Yay. So that was supposed to happen. Chapter one. Get up off that dirty floor. <laughs> All right. What's this? Look like a thousand real quick. A pleasant warmth is emanating from the oven. I can sense a strange yet familiar scent. It's the smell of the protective substance, which gives me relative safety after dark. The vapors rising from the huge cauldron are distributed all over the house via long pipes. As long as I remain in my hideout, I have a chance of surviving the night. Sam in the oven. When I arrived here a couple of days ago, the oven was basically prepared. I just needed to light it to ensure my safety at night. This cottage must have been one of our hideouts. The inhabitants of these woods don't need to inhale this revolting air gas. I don't I don't think don't need to is the what they wanted to use. I think don't like to inhale this revolting gas is my guess. Oh look, it's leaking from the pipe there. It's legit. I love that. <laughs> what the hell is in the pot? <laughs> That's fantastic. Okay. Um, let's look at the weird bottle. The label on the bottle says, Staying out of reach of protective substance after nightfall results in immediate death in 99 out of 100 cases. It is advised to evenly spread the gas inside the sleeping area. Warning, even a properly prepared substance does not guarantee 100% safety. Remain vigilant. It is re recommended to stay in well-lit indoor areas in order to minimize the risk. I know, that voice was weird. I get it. It was like almost mechanical, then slightly accented, and then just all over the place. That's how I roll on this channel. So <laughs> you just, just, just play along with it. I got a little battery hooked to the oven. That's interesting. All right, let's look inside the pot. A small, empty cast iron pot. I haven't used it yet. I haven't felt any hunger or thirst since the accident a few days ago. I can't stop thinking about one thing. These mushrooms. These are bread. Pulsating mushrooms. They look so tasty. Maybe this pot will prove useful after all. Cook! Okay, we can't cook anything yet. So we're gonna back out of this. We'll talk about this one because more things. So, let's open this door. We got stuff to do. Come on, Brian. Yeah, I'll click all goodies. So, I'm just redoing one. So, the house layout may be slightly different than what we're expecting. The title reads, The Use of Mushrooms in the Household. 
from day two on. The house may be slightly different. I forget. It's been uh, a little bit, a couple days since I've recorded the other ones. Ooh, gotta get those. These we use for cooking. So I'll run back and show you the disgusting pulsate. Oh, I'm sorry. The ones he was salivating over previously. All right. Let's go to the oven. There it is. Odd looking mushroom. I can extract 10 essence from this. You do want to do that because this is how you get level up, not level ups, but like special abilities. So we need to go and start collecting things. So this is an Indiegogo treat. People back to the game on Indiegogo. I'm not going to share the uh, code because the creator kind of did want people to. So here I go. Okay, so let's go over there. I didn't even pay attention to what I picked up. So this creepy house is, this is our base hideout for the first portion of the game. I haven't left it in any version, so I mean, know you're here for a while. This is where I tend to store all my stuff. Okay, we want the, the board. I accidentally threw this stupid knife in one of the things. And that knife is worth a lot, a hundred. That's a big deal. It's worth more than a single shotgun. <laughs> so I, I want to keep that knife uh, to sell, actually. That's my main purpose with it. We can upgrade the workshop right now to craft more stuff. We'll do that because I, I want to rush upgrading as much as possible. See, look, now we can build an inventory upgrade. Pay attention to our inventory over here. Do that. There's also a, a hot bar upgrade, but you get two inventory slots versus a hot bar slot. So my, my two primary things I want to do three primary things I want to do is increase my inventory as much as possible so when I'm scavenging I can collect as much as I want upgrade my workshop so I can build more better bigger better better things and to upgrade my crude weapon which can be a great item you can add more nails oh I can do that now boom now it's got more nails it does more damage this is one I really want because Arden makes it so your weapon doesn't break easy and you're always having to repair that damn thing. A big part of what you do in this game, oh, I can't do that anyways, is you explore. And find things. And you scavenge during the day, then you hole up during night, waiting to... for the night to pass. And those are each a day. There's about 30 minutes a day. So... Okay, there's a corpse. Oh, he's got a rag, a torch, and a match. Nice, I'll take it. Got some notes. Turn on the generator before dark. Hiding in the shadows won't do you any good. They're coming either way. Technically kind of true, not necessarily 100% true. This is the generator. You can turn it on to turn the lights on in the house. We don't want to do that right now. Down at the bottom, you can see the generators, how full it is. I just busted out that door like I've got better things to do. Let's follow the road and see where that takes us. Because that usually leads to points of interest. Do I have my weapon? Yeah, I have my weapon engaged. Yeah, no, ease off on that. Where'd they fly off of? Okay, so poisonous mushrooms hurt you. Uh, crows fly away from corpses. So if you hear them, that means there's a corpse with goodies nearby. Oh, and that's bad. Somewhere. I just don't know where. Darn it. I hate you can't see. Fine, wherever you are, attack me. There we go. I took a hit. That's not bad. Oh, there's another corpse right there. Wait, nope, what yeah, right there. Look at that. We're almost full. Nope. Found a burnt house. Where'd that burnt house? Oh, there's always dogs with these things. Come on, get over here. You want to attack me? I know it. There we go. That <laughs> double smacked you. These are like muted evil dogs. Don't feel bad for them. They're not little puppers that just want hugs. The only hugs they want to give you is their teeth. Oh, two more. Dang it, dudes. 
Okay, so each of these little locations has certain stuff, and I'm not gonna I'm gonna keep exploring because I want you guys to be able to see most everything. I'm actually gonna have to go back and dump stuff off here in a little while. Oh nope nope no thank you. I do not want to muck with them. They I don't even know how to kill them. I mean, I imagine you can kill them by hitting them and stuff eventually, but what's this way? It's just a, just a little... Whoa. I almost stepped in that bear trap. You can collect them for goodies. Glad I didn't. That would have disappointed me. Critters can land and step in those, by the way. There's a big part in the game at nighttime where you can set traps for critters. We do want wood for sure. And, oh, well, we could just put that in our other thing. So, problem is, we're not going to be able to get everything from the site because there's a limit to how much wood you can carry. We're going to have to make our way back home here in a little bit. You drive me nuts with how heavy you breathe, dude. The days are so short, I don't really want to waste. Kind of time walking slow. Okay. Where is it? There he is. Hey, how are you doing? Ooh, he's got like goody goodies. And I can't carry a lot of it. Do any of it, is any of it particularly necessary? No. Nope. Come on, let's do it. Bring it. Oh god, it's satisfying. Whack. Take it, devil dog. This is my freaking house here, dude. You come at me in my own home? What kind of nonsense is that? Oh wait. Did I have... Generate fuel? We did. Okay, so let's take that. Put that there. And then we can go down three. I'm gonna control a couple days. There you go. The rest is gonna go. Oh, see, it's getting dark. Well, since it's not gonna carry over, I'm just gonna turn them on now. I'll come back to you in a hot minute. I know it's getting dark. We're all good. Get up here, get up here, get up here. The rest in here. And then we can put the wood clicks in there. And again, make wood, which is handy for boarding up windows and, and fixing weapons and whatever else you can build well, which heals you for the day. Close that damn door. I already searched that. Oh, cow, I didn't search that. Oh, a picture of road home. Nice. Now, let's drag it over. I'm over here. Bear trap. You'll see what I'm doing with that in a hot second. Come here. Close that door. We don't necessarily need to invite everybody in. Over here. Come on. Come on before it gets too dark. This is kind of my motive. so I can protect myself a little better. Then we're going to come over here and we are going to put the bear trap on the floor. I should have done two bear traps, honestly, but what can you do? And then I come over here and I'm just going to We'll wait the night out, I think. While we're waiting for all that to happen, I'm gonna look at my stuff. Oh, I should have should have cooked with that. Can I do it? Can I can I can chance? Too dangerous to cook. Damn. I hope it lasts. Now you wait out the night. This is day one. I just crafted or scavenged as much as I can before the day was running short. And you just kinda gotta wait out. So things are drawn to light. Oh, look at that. See? 
something's drawn to it. I don't know what it is. Sometimes this door randomly opens. That's fun. Hey, that's it. The sound design is so spectacular. So creepy. It's fantastic. Alright, who opened that door? I've never closed it before when it creepy, creepy opened. I think it's just like a spooky surprise kind of deal. So you really, each night you'll defend yourself in this house. Wow. I love all those stupid creepy noises. Terrible. They're terrible. It gets a little active later on. The first day is kind of like a, mostly a gimme. I don't think you get attacked the first day, but just in case I was setting it up. So you have the option to really booby trap the hell out of this place. There's all kinds of different things you can do. It's really up to your creativity. I like this because something can't approach me from here. So at least I'm in the same direction. And usually I like to put a bear trap directly in front of me and they get stuck in that bear trap. But I forgot. And I didn't do that, so <laughs> I hope I hope they will climb through that window. They will climb right through that window. So if they decide they want to, they can definitely do it. I'm just gonna have to hope that I can beat it. Listen to that fire crackle. In the future uh days this entire, I will be trimming these sequences down so that they're not terribly long. Oh, hear the music? That freaked me the fuck out the first time it started. I was like, oh my god, what's gonna happen? What's gonna happen? Beautiful sound design. Excellent use of music. It's just amazing. I've actually had something creeping around the corner when this music reached its peak. It's really cool. <laughs> I'm just sitting in my corner by myself. Look at that. And that day it gets light again. And that's the first day. <laughs> 